There are so many cool things about a Tesla, but in this video, we're gonna go over the top five fails of my Tesla, some things that are concerning with video evidence. Let's get into point number one. Welcome to the only top five Tesla channel on YouTube. We're gonna break it down real simple, follow along the top five mistakes I've already had after driving 15,000 miles in my Model 3. And let's go over point number one, and that has everything to do with the windshield. So probably worst case scenario, aside from your screen inside the car breaking and failing, and by the way, you can still drive if that internal screen does get damaged. But I was driving down the highway and then all of a sudden a rock sounded like a bomb went off in my Tesla and broke my entire windshield. So at first I thought nothing of it, but later I found a really long crack that required the windshield to get completely replaced. Now number two, the point I wanna make next is more about an actual mechanical failure. So stick around for that. I know these windshield issues can happen. It happens whenever rocks kick up, but let me tell you this. So something you might not know is that your warranty does not cover your windshield cracks or replacements because it does cover defective parts. It actually covers your battery as well if something were to happen. But this windshield was completely out of pocket and I'll keep it really short. So your warranty does not cover these cracks and I understand they just happen on the highway from time to time. But I took it to Tesla and I said, well, I'm gonna need a replacement because companies like Safe Flight and other companies where they fill the crack, I didn't really trust that. So I took it to Tesla. They said, we don't replace windshields anymore. We actually use a local company. And long story short, my insurance paid for all of it. I got a brand new windshield with zero out of pocket. And I was hoping that was gonna be the case because I pay $150 a month on my insurance. But let's go into point number two. So point number two, I'm not gonna explain it. At first, I want you to listen to this. That is the sound that my air conditioner was making in my Model 3. And again, I've had the car for a little under a year and 15,000 miles. So a little concerning, am I going to submit a service request with Tesla? Well, the sound has since gone away, but does come back very, very rarely. So point number three in this list of five, and I think the next one in point four is also really important and also relates to the car having a defect. But point number three has everything to do with wasting money on bad accessories. So I bring this one up because the accessories I purchased were from Tesla. Now I purchased their paint protection film, their PPF for my Model 3, and the mud flaps. Now, the paint protection film looked like this. After around 14,000 miles, it was a little faded, it was peeling up. Now, I tried my best to install this to a T and follow the instructions. Anyway, I had to replace those, and I wasn't really a big fan of the mud flaps. I actually still have them on my Tesla, and they drag and scrape whenever you're making tight turns, uh, slower turns, let's say into a parking lot, things like that. So wasted money is something, a big mistake, I really want you to avoid. So I put the best accessories in the links in the description to make sure you don't make this mistake. So point number four, we're gonna go back to an actual car issue. Now this happens from time to time and it's not overly annoying, but you're paying 40, 50, 60 plus thousand dollars on a brand new Tesla. Now there are going to be issues, but this one has to do with my trunk. So I use my trunk very frequently. There's a car wash right down the road from where I live, literally within probably a minute. So I'm there pretty frequently cleaning up my car and taking care of my Tesla. Well, every time I use that trunk, I would say from time to time. Well, sometimes when I'm opening my trunk, it only opens halfway and I get a beeping sound. It beeps, I think, two or three times, letting me know it didn't close properly. Now, I can mimic this sound if I put something in the way and I try to close the trunk. But when there is nothing in the way of it closing, sometimes it doesn't close or open the entire way. So this one isn't a big deal. I can basically open or close the trunk manually or through the app and then it'll work the second time. But the whole purpose in you're spending all this money again is you want it to work the first time. So if it gets really annoying, if it happens every single time, I'll probably have it looked at and have them look at other items. 
but this one has to do with my trunk and it doesn't happen all that often. Let's get into the fifth and final point of this list of five. So number five, I've talked about this one in other videos and this one is probably my biggest mistake or at least something I wish I knew from the beginning when I ordered my Tesla. So I really hope you listen to this one and that is everything to do with paint protection film and let's go over why you need it, what it is and what happens when you don't have it. So there has been some complaints and I've heard that Tesla has improved the paint quality of their vehicles, but mine is from June of 2021. Like I said, I haven't even had it for a year at this time. I've been driving 15,000 miles, very ordinary driving on the highway, a little mixture of both uh, side streets, highway, and then residential driving, nothing crazy, no long commutes, no road trips. And I already have numerous, numerous paint chips and marks on the front of my car. So paint protection film is an invisible film that protects against this. I wish I knew how much it costs, um, when you should get it, and how you should get it. So basically, let me tell you what those answers are. I've been quoted anywhere from 500 to 1,000 to cover the front of your Tesla, so just the hood area, which I would recommend and consider if you have it in the budget. And where you get it is any aftermarket shop that installs PPF. Now do your research and pick a shop because Tesla will not apply PPF for you, but because there's no grill, all the pebbles and rocks and salt, if you live somewhere that gets snow or sand, uh, really can wear away that paint and I have evidence of it on my Tesla. So that's something that I wish I knew how to get and what happens when you don't get it because again, your car will look like this if you don't have it and then of course it'll look a lot cleaner and it'll basically repel any of those scratches if you do get PPF. So three of those issues are actually issues with my Tesla and a bonus concern that I have, well I got that windshield replaced and ever since then it's really concerning when I'm at a stoplight or even a traffic light like a red light waiting, well sometimes my car will randomly go into park to prevent roll away, which let me explain what that means. So your Tesla will go into a hold mode if you press the brake firmly at a traffic light or a red light, so you don't have to go all the way into park and shift gears. Well, my Tesla is taking it upon itself to go all the way into park, which should not happen. Now, I understand that it's trying to prevent roll away, but when you're on a flat street or a simple stop at a stop sign, it should not be doing this. And I wonder if this has something to do with getting my windshield replaced and maybe the sensors um, getting messed up or something like that. So I'm gonna watch out for this one. Again, I wanted to add it. It does not happen frequently. It happened maybe three or four times and it's been fine since. So we're gonna keep an eye out for that one. So let me know what you think of this list of five because the only way I know you like this content is of course to drop a like and consider subscribing and consider those links in the description for the very best accessories so you're not wasting your money. Again, this is Matt from Funk the Trunk. We will see you in the next video.